Ladies and gentlemen, season three is officially here. And with it, we got the whole update. I already made a video on that. And now we're going to be diving into the battle pass. And as far as the battle pass goes, what we like to do in these videos is go through all of the different sectors, what is inside the battle pass. And by the very end, have the discussion. Is this battle pass actually worth it? That's what we're going to be talking about today. But to decide that, we first have to have a look at the battle pass. So I'll explain to you how it works, how Black Cell works, and of course, show you everything inside it. So without further ado, this is the season three battle pass. And like I always say, let me know down in the comments. Is this battle pass a W, an L, good, bad? Let me know what you think. So this is the season three battle pass. And what you're going to notice right away is that there's a couple of things that are different. So first of all, Right above the new weapon here, we have an event that starts in seven days. So that's going to somehow tie into the battle pass, it appears, as well as a classified sector coming out in 27 days. So those are all new. Now, of course, what we always have is Black Cell here. So as far as Black Cell goes, this is what you get. You have to pay real life money for the battle pass, not just the Call of Duty points like you can for other things. Now, inside this battle pass, you're going to get the aggressive action, which is going to be a piece of equipment, a skin for a piece of equipment. You get the double barrel disrespect finishing move. You get 1,100 COD points. You get all that glitters black cell blueprint. This one that you are seeing here, this one is for the Bass B, looks pretty good. And of course, you get the black cell operator, which is stasis. Now, I live in Canada, so if I go to purchase this, it's going to be $39.99 Canadian, and you instantly receive that 1,100 COD points. You also get your 100 unlockable rewards from the Battle Pass, as well as the 1,400 COD points from the Battle Pass. There's also 20 tier skips, 17 unique Black Cell rewards, and then the Operator that we talked about before. Now, as we go through the different sectors, that is what you're going to see the various different Black Cell rewards as we go through. So when you buy the Battle Pass, no matter how you buy it, you immediately get a couple of things here. First of all, you get Snoop Dogg, specifically Snoop Dogg 2, as well as his Black Cell version, which is literally the dog version of him, which I will say is pretty good. You also get a Makarov skin called Dominus, which is the one that you are seeing here, as well as his Black Cell variation as well. You get the tactical pet, the D-O-double-G, which is pretty cool, I must say. The dog is wearing sunglasses and a beanie. And the Hope Breaker, which is a pretty good looking Bass B variant, but has some weird attachments on it, as well as your 10% boost, which gives you XP boost throughout the entire season which is always good. So let's go back and work our way through starting out with sector one. So as far as this one goes, we have 45 minutes of double weapon XP, raw Ethereum crystals for zombies. I still don't know how I feel about this being in there. We have Slayer, which is a weapon sticker, the Snoop Dogg large decal, which looks cool. And then we have two weapons. First of all, the Steely Gaze. This is the normal one. And then the Black Cell one, which kind of looks similar, but with a little bit more gold on it. Moving into Sector 2, this is our first Operator skin, but we have an Emblem, a Blueprint. This one is for the TYR. Then we have the Treasures Untold, large decal, one hour of double XP. And then we have Tom Cruise, or not so much Tom Cruise. We have a skin for Swagger called Akuma. I don't know. I thought it looked like Top Gun Tom Cruise, as well as the Black Cell version of it, which is essentially the same thing with a bandana and a little bit more gold. Sector 3, we have a sword, which is called the Knight's Errand. This is a blueprint for the Soul Render. Honestly, it doesn't look too much different than the Soul Render. On top of this, large decal, emblem, calling card, and weapon charm. As far as this one goes, I find this sector pretty pointless. Up next, we have Sector 4. So as far as Sector 4 goes, this is our first new weapon. This is the one that I'm most excited about in the Battle Pass. But to get there, we have a weapon sticker, 30 minutes of double Battle Pass XP, a weapon charm called Victor's Helm, a large decal, and then here is the new weapon. So as far as this weapon goes, what it is, is the Moors. This is a weapon from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare where you put one bullet in the chamber at a time. It was a super powerful sniper rifle back in the day, fan favorite back in Advanced Warfare, and I'm excited to use this bad boy again. So the easiest way to get there would be sectors one, two, and four. But to go up to the next sector, we have Sector 5. This one, we have an Operator skin for Ripper, as well as the Black Cell version, which is kind of similar to what we've already seen. 100 COD points, 30 minutes of double XP, 
the Sworn Blade blueprint. This one is for the Tack Eradicator. And finally, the Calling Card. Honestly, a blueprint, not so impressed by that one. Up next in Sector 6, we have a finishing move. This one is called the Sidearm Swap. 100 COD points, large decal, double XP for one hour. And finally, the Magnetic Impulse, which is for the SOA Subverter. Sector 7, we have another operator, which is Doc. So this is the Cardinal Operator skin as well as the Black Cell version, which is kind of the same thing that we've seen before. 100 COD points, the Fugitive, which is for the Lockwood 680, the 30 minutes of double weapon XP, and 30 minutes of double XP. Sector 8, this is our second new weapon. Again, these are free, so if you just level up your Battle Pass and do not buy it, you can get these weapons for free. This one's called the FJX Horus, which I believe is supposed to be like an MP9 kind of weapon. Uh, very fast-moving, high-fire rate kind of weapon. Large decal, weapon charm, 15 minutes of double battle pass XP, and pull this for me, which is a weapon sticker. Honestly, so far, not seeing anything that really impresses me too much. After this, we move into another calling card, no eye in team, another weapon blueprint for the SPR 208. This one's called the Planned Expiry, a emblem. Once again, a zombies acquisition. This is a Shatter Blast ammo mod. Nothing special there. And then our weapon, we have the Veil Breaker for the Bass B. But what the weird thing is, is the Black Cell version of it is for a completely different weapon altogether, which is the Sharpened Fate Black Cell for the WSP9. So kind of weird on that one. Moving into Sector 10, we have another Operator skin for Riptide called Scalpel, as well as the Scalpel Black Cell version. We have Speed Cola, which I think this is the first time we've seen perks as rewards here. Uh, 100 COD points, bladed praise for the DG58 LSW, and 30 minutes of double weapon XP. Honestly, not loving the weapon blueprint so far. Let's see if this one can get any better. Again, don't love it. The blade eater for the Tack of Valvery, uh, as well as the better version of it, which is the blade eater uh, black cell version, which does look better, I will say. The 2020 calling card, 45 minutes of double weapon XP. Apparently, we're updating the playlist. Rain or Shine Emblem and the Radio Chatter Charm. Sector 12, we have 200 COD points. The Slick Dispatch. This is my probably my favorite blueprint that we have seen so far. This one is for the Holger 556. Another Weapon Charm Emblem and 30 minutes of double XP. Sector 13, we have the Banshee Operator Skin as well as the Black Cell version as well, which gives you an interesting helmet. One hour of double weapon XP, another emblem, another pretty cool weapon blueprint. I do like the look of this one. And then the calling card in the red. Sector 14, we have the Cat AMR. This one I actually do kind of like the look of, as well as the Black Cell version, which is just kind of a black and gold version of it. 100 COD points, another emblem, another blueprint called the Live Line, which kind of follows the same one that we looked at before, but this one's for the HRM. I do kind of like these blueprints. And then 30 minutes of double weapon XP. Moving into 15, we have another new weapon. This one is a melee weapon called the Gladiator. Uh, I'm not sure how this one's going to be different. It's probably going to be a pretty quick weapon to use, but probably not a long lunge distance. The Coney Coop, which is a hatchback vehicle skin. 30 minutes of double weapon XP, the Stang Frosty calling card, and finally the weapon charm do not handle. Moving into 16, we have the Cask Corso operator skin, nothing too fancy there, as well as the Cask Black Cell skin, this version's a little bit better. The large decal called Halves of a Hole, another blueprint called the Walking Contradiction, which is for the BP-50 from last season. 45 minutes of double XP, and finally, the Laurel Lead, which is an emblem. So in Sector 17, we have a blueprint for the Moors, which is the new sniper rifle. This one is called the Situational Hazard, as well as the Black Cell version as well. We have 100 COD points, Eyes Up Calling Card, Charm, and finally, Legendary Ether Tools for Zombies. 18, we have the Saboteur. This one is for Byline, as well as the Black Cell version as well. More stickers, more calling cards, and an emblem as well as another blueprint called Don't Be Coy for the Pelumont 762. Following up with Sector 19, we have 200 more COD points, Ray Gun Cases, 1 Hour of Double Weapon XP, the Battle Sense Large Decal, and the Weapon Sticker called the Grim Chances. And our final sector, Sector 20, we have the Gleaned Slash for the FJX Horus, which is the new SMG, as well as the Black Cell version as well. 
another calling card, charm, weapon sticker, and 100 more COD points. Now, when you complete all of these, you finally get the finishing sector, which honestly is the only good operator skin out of this whole thing, which is for Makarov, and literally you become a giant werewolf. The Black Cell version of it is the same thing with some gold. You also get another operator skin for Hush, as well as the Black Cell version for Hush as well, which is the kind of new operator. We have the Faded, which is another pretty good looking MTZ762 blueprint. The Scoped and Loaded Emblem and 300 COD points as well. Now, I'm going to be honest with you here. I think this is the worst battle pass that we have received within Modern Warfare 3. There's some cool things. Like, I like the tier 100 um, operator skin for Makarov with the werewolf. I think that's pretty cool. I think the Snoop Dogg skins are pretty cool. I think there's some decent stuff. But as a whole, the weapon blueprints and operator skins that you get for just getting the battle pass kind of suck. I'm not going to lie. Let alone most of the things that you are getting through this battle pass double weapon xp double xp the new weapons are great that's fine but the operator skins and weapon skins kind of suck as well as just filled with large decals emblems weapon charms a bunch of things that i don't give a crap about and on top of that to make it worse i think the skins are pretty weak for the weapons and operators i don't know whether this one's worth it or not normally i say yeah it's worth it but as a whole, I think you'd really be play paying for the Makarov Werewolf skin, the Snoop Dogg skin, and maybe that's about it. I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comments, but I will say you can buy this for 1,000 COD points and level it up all the way. You don't have to spend the extra money to get the tier skips or anything like that, and then you do end up with your COD points back. So is it worth it? I don't know. I think it is worth your money, but I think this is the weakest one yet. But you can let me know what you think down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe, turn notifications on, all of that jazz. Many more videos coming. And until next time, peace. We are, we are